because he threatened to kill me. He was going to kill me. Graphic testimony from an alleged victim in the rape trial of Kellen Winslow Jr. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. The former NFL player is accused of raping three women and exposing himself to two others. News 8's Marcella Lee is in our newsroom with the first day of testimony. Marcella. Carlo and Barbara Lee on the first day of witness testimony, a 55-year-old woman identified only as Jane Doe number 1 gave very graphic and detailed testimony about the alleged rape. In fact, we can't share most of her testimony because it is just too descriptive. A judge ordered us to conceal her identity for her privacy and protection. He goes, if you don't do this, I'm going to kill you. Jane Doe number one, the first accuser in the rape case against Kellen Winslow II, took the stand and gave graphic detail to the court about her alleged encounter with the ex-NFL star. I'm going to take you to the store and I'm going to and, and if you say anything, you know, I will kill you. She says it was St. Patrick's Day of 2018, around 3.30 in the afternoon, when Winslow II picked her up while she was hitchhiking in Encinitas, then drove her to a grocery store parking lot and raped her. I just begged him, please just pull over right here, you know, no, you know, just pull over right here. You don't have to drive me anywhere if that's what made you mad, you know. She says he forced her to perform oral sex and then violently raped her. Yes, he was facing me. He was sitting on top of me. The prosecution says blood and semen were found on the woman's white pants. The defense then tried to poke holes in her story, reminding her she misidentified Winslow II in the preliminary hearing, pointing instead to his attorney Brian Watkins when asked to identify her attacker. No, it's the one next to you, yeah. Pam. In the prelim, you were pretty sure about it. Okay, I, just a moment for the record. The person next to Mr. Watkins is the defendant. Next question. But in the prelim, you were pretty sure it was Mr. Watkins. Remember that? Yes, I did say that. The defense also accused her of lying to the jury. She would testified she'd been sober for 30 years, but then admitted that wasn't true. It's a lie. Yes or no? I didn't drink today. The question is, you told this jury you haven't drank for 30 years, right? That's what you said. And that is a lie, isn't it? I haven't drank today. The defense is suggesting perhaps she was drunk and a willing participant that St. Patrick's Day afternoon. Jane Doe number one was on the stand for more than three hours. Court just finished about a half an hour ago for the day. Jane Doe number two takes the stand tomorrow. Carlo. Thanks, Marcella.